you will see a completely different Deontay. Says Wilder's protege, Raphael Acapegiotti. <laughs> well, we'll see. Good morning, Pugilist Fanatics. It's Myra Magnus in another segment of Pure Pugilism, Boxing Logics United. A lot of headlines has been raving, supposedly, this new physical physique, physique, my apologies, of Deontay Wilder and claims that he's been training quite a bit, which we all are glad he's doing and in which we all agree he should be doing. <laughs> Ain't that right? you damn right. Former WBC heavyweight champ Deontay Wilder has been unusually quiet over the past few months. We've spoken about this, haven't we? This leaded more than a few fans to wonder if the, if the beating Wilder took in his February match rematch with Tyson Fury caused him to go into a meltdown. I've claimed that, haven't I? Will Wilder ever be the same fighter again? These fans ask, did Wilder suffer career-threatening damage in the February fight that saw him lose for the first time as a pro? Officially. Well, apparently Wilder has been training hard for the third fight with Fury, recently intensifying his speed and conditioning sessions in Miami as he gets ready to fight his tormentor again. <laughs> He's definitely been tormenting his ass, haven't he? <laughs> I love it. And according to unbeaten Nigerian heavyweight, Rafael Akbijiori, Wilder's protege, the Bronx Bomber, Zilch Bomber, is looking nothing short of fantastic in the gym. They weigh the way Akpegiori tells it, Fury will have the most challenging fight of his career when he collides with Wilder in fight three. Okay, protege, we heard enough from you, you know, and um, we know you're going to vouch for your sensei, Sensei Wilder. <laughs> that sounds so funny. But Akpor... Or Raphael, let me just say that. We've heard all this before. Okay? But if his trainer still JD's, get it, boy! Hit it, hit it, boy! Hit that bag, boy! Hit it, boy! We ain't believing you. Sorry, you need more people. Or how did Jay-Z put it? We don't believe you. You need more people. Raphael, okay? You need a quite a few more people, okay? Because if his form is looking good, great. If his stamina will be up to par, great. If his mindset will be ready to recapture his title, great. We still gonna have to wait and see till the fight comes. Bottom line. I'm not getting all happy about somebody being in great shape or looking in great shape. But if he's been training since July, late July, which the rumors have been saying, then that's awesome. Because that's exactly what Deontay needed to do. This coronavirus lockdown perhaps came at the right time for Deontay Wilder. It may be a blessing in disguise for him. Real facts, okay? But let me say this. If he has not improved this jab, okay? Tremendously. And to keep that out there, just put up a good gauge for Tyson Fury, he's going to have some issues. If he has not worked on distance control 
They may be punching, at least throwing a good defensive punch, backing up. Because we know Wilder cannot fight on his back foot. He's going to be in trouble. You know what I mean? So, I'm not going to get all in hoopla and happy and excited yet. I'm going to save it all for the rubber match. I'm not going to down Deontay Wilder. I'm not going to big up Deontay Wilder. Because I want Deontay Wilder to keep his peace. Stay in the fucking gym. Okay? Because he has a higher mountain to climb than Tyson Fury does when it comes to skill. He has a higher mountain to climb. And he need all this time to prepare to try to somehow close this skill gap between him and Fury. He has very limited time. Because if the rematch is set in December, and we're right now in September, he has September to October, October to November, November. He has only three more months. And let's hope everything comes good when it comes in threes. Because three months is all he has left before the truth prevails. This is Myra Magnus in another segment of Boxing Logics United. Like, subscribe, and share. And hit all notifications. Hit the icon two times to get all notifications because the motherfucker's gonna be cooking his ass off, okay? On the march to one million. One million views, that is. Peace and pugilism.